Thanks for stopping by my channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to change a Linux host name and username. So without wasting any time, let's go ahead and jump into this. Okay, so here we are. We have our name as Kali Kali, and we're going to go ahead and get this changed. So the first thing we're going to do is change our host name, which is going to be this one over here. And if you don't do this right, this is going to give you some trouble. So what we are going to do is decide on a host name first, and we're just going to type in host name, host name, CTL, set host name. And it helps if we spell everything right. And we'll say PHD sec, just like this. So this is what it is going to look like. So we're gonna go ahead and hit enter. We'll type in our password. And now if we type in host name, it should tell us our new host name right here. But we are not done yet. We need to switch to our root user. So we'll go sudo su, just like this. And we're gonna type in pass wd, and you're gonna to need to change the password to your root user to something else. That way we can log in as our root user. Now we will need to edit our host file. So we'll go nano because I don't think I have gedit installed, slash etsy host name, just like this. And actually, I didn't mean to go into host name. We need to go host just like this. And you can tell I have a lot of hack the box on here. I'm gonna delete this and then bring you back. Okay, I have cleaned up all those hack the box IPs. So we're gonna come over here to Kali and we're going to delete that. And whatever we're gonna change our host name to, which is phdsec, like you just saw, we're gonna put dot local domain and then a space. And then we're gonna put phdsec again or whatever name you decided to change it to. We're gonna tell it we want to change it. And actually, we'll go ahead and cat that out to make sure that it worked. Etsy host just like this and this is what it should look like at this point. And now you have to restart your Kali machine and then log in as your root user. So I'm gonna go ahead and restart and I'll bring you back once I'm ready to sign in. So we're gonna sign in as our root user. Once we get logged in, we will need to open up a new terminal right here. We'll make that bigger so you can see it. And now we're going to change our actual username, which is going to be this one over here. So we're going to have to do this as root because our actual user that we're trying to change can't show up. So the first thing we need to do is change the home user from being Kali to whatever we want it to be. So we're going to just say user mod dash L and then we're going to list our new name. I'm just going to use my name and we're going to tell it we want to overwrite the home Kali user, and then we want to overwrite Kali just like this. So if we hit enter, that should go through. And then we're going to put ourselves inside of the group that Kali was in. So we're going to say group mod dash in, and we're going to do Ryan and overwrite Kali. So if everything worked, we should be able to restart our Kali Linux machine one more time. We will log in as our new user, and then we're gonna try running some sudo commands and make sure our host name is resolving and we did everything right. And it is on, so we'll go ahead and type in Ryan, type in our password that we had for our Kali machine, and it's logging in here for us. Fingers crossed that everything was done right. So we'll just go like something like sudo apt install, and we'll go gedit and make sure that it resolves for us and it says we already have it so we could do a sudo apt update and it says that everything is working for us so now we have successfully changed our host name and our username and our sudo is working here for us so we know that our host name is resolving so that is how you change your username and your host name on a kali linux virtual machine if something is not working for you or you have any questions please let me know down in the comments thanks for watching